Hi, this is Crime and Partner, and welcome to my first episode of uh, my Let's Play series for Castlevania Symphony of Night. Now, before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and just spend a minute or two talking about the game itself. Now, the game came out, I believe, in 1996, although the copyright does say 97. Um, it was actually the first game produced by uh, Koji Igarashi who's actually been doing the Castlevania series since then. Um, he actually took it in a different direction, uh, deciding to uh, make it more like the Metroid series where uh, you, you know, you'd know you go and uh, get items and using those you could uh, get access to explore different parts of uh, the world. Uh, previously, the Castlevania games were uh, a very difficult, very unforgiving uh, platformer, stage by stage. So, um, yeah, these games uh, have been nicknamed like Castle Royd games. Uh, most of them, like Symphony of Night, are actually uh, going to be found on the, the Game Boy Advance and the DS. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. <coughs> Alright, file select. And we'll go ahead and use the name Alucard, why not? Okay, now this first part's actually going to be a, a prologue that kind of sets up the story leading up to uh, Sophia and Knight. It's actually uh, going to be the final battle for uh, Castlevania Dracula X Rondo of Blood. Now, this game originally came out on the Turbo Duo and at one point was not released in the U.S. Although, um, about a year ago or so, it was, it was finally released on the PSP. Um, this game was pretty much the pinnacle of the, the, the platformer uh, stage games. You actually play as Richter Belmont, who actually is a fairly powerful Belmont with a decent set of moves. He's also one of the first Belmonts that uh, actually walks around, doesn't look like he's uh, thrown his back. Um, anyway, this will uh, take place with the final battle against Dracula. Now, something to note about this battle that's coming up, uh, depending on how you do, as far as time, uh, damage, and whether you have a sub weapon or no sub weapon, it'll affect your final stats. Okay, now you need to do this in under a minute, ideally, with no damage and no sub weapon to get the best stats. Now, if you can pull it off, and um, whoa, there we go. If you use a sub weapon, you can actually get more uh, MP or hearts. And, and um, in place of stats, um, cross will give you 30 hearts, and the holy water will give you 25. You now the hearts actually power up your sub weapon. Also, something to note because this is a fresh save file, I can't skip this dialogue, and the clock is actually running at this point. So it's pretty much going to be impossible for me to do it in under a minute. So really the best alternative for me is to use a sub weapon and try and not take damage. And yes, this is a fine example of voice acting. Something about Hydro Storm, it butchers. It's way overpowered. I mean, it's just rage, Dracula. Oh, and I got hit. What a scam. Anyway, it, it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it, th this is a ridiculously easy game to begin with. I mean, it, it, it's, it's going to be like a five health difference. I mean, it's not a big deal. Anyway, this part uh, just kind of gives you a little backstory again, um, tying in Rondo of Blood with uh, Symphony of Night it's, uh, for a four year difference. In the meantime, let me go ahead and just kind of get, get out my disclaimer. Um, unlike the my Final Fantasy IV uh, low level game uh, initial equipment speedrun, I'm not going to be able to pump out these videos nearly as fast because I'm doing the commentary, or I'm going to attempt to. Um, reason being, you know, I'm married and my wife likes to watch Law and Order. 
and she does that when she gets home and my computer is right next to the TV so I can't be cranking up my uh, computer and talking on the microphone going on and on about video games and stats and slashing up and things while she's trying to watch um, Olivia you know trying to catch rapists and things like that you know that's just not gonna fly so you know I'll try and get what videos done as I can maybe I can get at least one done a day but you know I, I gotta look after my manhood here and I can't take any uh, chances Uh, let me go ahead and just kind of talk briefly about uh, Alucard while I'm at it. Um, Alucard's not actually his name. He just goes by it because it's uh, spelled backward for Dracula. It's kind of like a moniker, you know, meaning I'm, I'm different from my from my father. Uh, his actual name is Adrian Fahrenheit's Tepes. Guy's over 400 years old. I mean, uh, 300 years prior, he actually fought with Trevor Belmont um, in Castlevania III. Which actually, I believe, Trevor Belmont, according to the the new official story, was the one who first defeated uh, Dracula. Just just something interesting. All right, so now we we're about to gain control of Alucard, and I'll kind of go briefly over his stats. Okay, like any hero RPG man, he's got HP and MP. He's also got the hearts, which power the sub weapons, which I mentioned earlier. He's also got four stats. Now, strength will affect uh, damage with weapons. Constitution is a two-fold stat. Um, it'll it'll somewhat affect his defense. It'll also uh, affect the duration of negative stats effects like poison and curse, which I'll, I'll go over more later as I uh, get affected by it. Um, intelligence affects your magic casting attacks, which honestly is kind of useless. Um, and luck will affect things like uh, your chance of getting uh, critical damage hits or uh, more importantly, your chance of getting rare items. Um, you'll also notice that Alucard at this point is rather decked out. Um, it's not the best equipment in the game, but it's it's pretty good. And for this the short bit in the beginning, he's just gonna lay waste. He's just gonna tear it up. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, that was a warg, and he just dropped very quickly. You also notice I just did a cool little teleport attack. It's actually an ability unique to the Alucard sword. Uh, I used a little bit of magic just to teleport and attack at the end of the screen. Nothing amazing, but just thought I'd share. Uh, you'll also notice I'm getting attacked by uh, zombies popping out of the ground. Um, they never stop popping out of the ground. Um, yeah, you could probably farm experience there, but they're not really worth anything, so not worth your time. Um, some meat there. You'll notice I just leveled up. Um, something about leveling up. Well, actually, you'll notice I'm taking damage while uh, in the moat. Yeah, Alucard can't hold his breath. So, yeah, be careful. <laughs> anyway, back to leveling up. Um, you actually, when you level up, you'll gain varied stats. So, um, if you really wanted to, you could keep, uh, you say before, you level up level if you don't like the stats reload until you get the stats you want now ideally the best stats were uh, I think just plus one to all stats but it's it's been a while so I'm not gonna lie <laughs> and here we meet up with death now death has been in more Castlevanias than even freaking Dracula it's kinda ridiculous and in most every Castlevania he uses the exact same attacks which the exception of uh... I think the the Castlevania on Super Nintendo, Cast Super Castlevania 4, yeah. And you'll notice that he just stole my equipment. Yes, I can only punch now. I have no cool sword that teleports. You'll also notice here, I'm going to get my first secret item. This is a heart max up. What it does is, it just increases the maximum number of hearts I got. Similar leveling up, but it just level up hearts. <laughs> 
And I leveled up. And I got my first weapon, the short sword. Now if I equip this short sword on him, you'll notice it'll increase my attack by two. Which, I mean, it's not super, but it did increase the range of my attack a bit. I, don't, I know I don't attack as fast as the fist, but I like the increased range. Anyway, with this first save, I'll go ahead and I'll end this video. Um, thanks for going and watching my first video. Hope this will be uh, entertaining and maybe, you know, interesting for you and me both. Anyway, um, see you next crime.